Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel Line Bushcrew. Today, I've got a huge video for you. We're going to go through and give you the numbers on the MP5K. I'm going to go through the play style as well, which is big point number two. And I'm going to talk about some of the secret stuff which you don't know about, even though you think you do on this gun. Uh, number three, I'm going to talk to you about what's best for the weapon, the attachments you want to use, uh, how you want to use it, what it does well and what it does poorly. And number like number 20,000 million, 300 bazillion gazillion, I want to tell you about the best website on the internet. If you want to know the numbers, the stats, uh, the best PUBG mobile resource you're going to find, and that's labushka.com. Stick around to the end and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about with that. Before we go any further, though, let's bust out a really hot take. PUBG Mobile are changing the way we play the game with SMGs. Uh, there's been huge changes of late to the Vector, the UMP45, and now a brand new gun, Lee, the MP5K. And to get the numbers on this gun and all the guns, I do a, a mix of training rooms and range work, uh, and then I test for things that I'm finding to be kind of crazy. And First of all, the best attachments for this gun, well, there is a best case scenario where I think, in my opinion, after looking at the uh, at the actual spray patterns, the half grip, the angled grip, they're both perfect for it. Uh, but it is a lot like the UMP, where any grip's gonna work with it because the recoil pattern is very, very friendly, right? It's very, very friendly. Uh, the biggest, most important thing for this gun is a compensator. Running a compensator on this makes it just so much easier to do these 4X sprays out to about 50 to 60 meters, very, very accurately, fairly accurately at 75 and over that, because again, it's a nine millimeter round and it has noticeable bullet drop out towards the longer ranges and it's a slower shell flight than a 45 uh, than a 5.56 round. I found that spraying at ranges beyond that, while it was doable, just wasn't as effective. So again, I'd run this with a half grip or an angled and a red dot or a three or a four scope. It'll handle all those very, very nicely, right? Uh, the biggest key to any of anyone that tells you that, oh, look, I can 6X spray or whatever, that's not important. The key is sensitivity. Now I've done a video on sensitivity settings. You need to figure out your own sensitivity settings, but more than anything else, having the right sensitivity settings for what you want to do with your gun is just so important. And I find that I can spray with a six, a four, a hollow, a red dot, and this gun handles them all. Now let's talk about the, the ammo. Uh, it's a nine millimeter round. Now that means it's a lighter round. So even when it's fired very quickly, like this gun has a rate of fire of uh, around every 0 0.0645 seconds. Every, uh, even when you do it like that, it doesn't get a huge amount of recoil. It's not like a 7.62 round. And it's only doing 32 damage. Whereas a 7.62 round does at least, like an M762 does 45. An AKM does 47. A Graza does 47, a, you know. Uh, a Mark 47 Mutant does 45, and those big caliber shells, which front load, have high amounts of recoil. Not so this gun, but once you get out to ranges like this, like 100, 150 meters, it is very, very hard to get the gun to sit still, even when crouching. And I crouch an awful lot for these long range sprays because what you're dealing with here is as you get out to those ranges, you start tap firing and you'd be better off running an M16 or an M416 or something like that. The reason being that an M16A4, for instance, uh, will give you a base damage round of 40, whereas this thing's gonna give you a base damage round of 32. Um, and that means when you're shooting headshots, at range with a slower shell that has more bullet drop uh, and less front loading and about the same amount of recoil, then there's no reason to be using this as a secondary slot weapon. Uh, your M16 or your M16A4, for instance, has a damage into a level three helmet of 41.85. This has 26.1. If they both fire on single tap at the same rate and have relatively similar um, recoil profiles, then I can't see any reason to run this in a second slot. So it's a primary slot weapon, but it's good enough at mid range and long and, and short range spraying and CQC and has a high enough rate of fire and a fast enough time to kill that it allows you to run other guns in your secondary slots like Car98Ks or DMRs like the SKS and the SLR. 
And even if you have to tap someone out like that, you can do it. It's just not the best at doing it. This is the kind of loadout you'd probably look at if you're running on Miramar, on Vikendi rather, and you can't find like a, a big long range bomber. You run the MP5K in the primary slot, and then in your secondary slot, you run an M16A4. So when someone goes full auto spray at you at that kind of range, which is just too far, you can just turn around and look at that i mean that's that recoil is on point right that is an m16 at full tap that's just gonna do such a better job of it than the mp5k the huge ping fry i found was was just the the compensator was massive if you can run a compensator on it it's gonna save you a whole hell of a lot of heartache uh and Many, many people on Bikendi, because this is where the gun is only found on Bikendi, obviously, are going to run G36Cs, and they should because the G36C has a crazy recoil profile. But you're going to see a couple of instances here where people are running G36Cs and other weapons where I beat them in CQC because this thing is so stable in CQC, close quarters combat, and has such a high rate of fire that it it can absolutely shred people up close. Now, 0.322 might just sound like a number to you, but the time to kill on an M416, for instance, is 0.38 seconds. So 0.32 versus 0.38 is seven tenths of a second. That is an eternity in PUBG Mobile. That's like the difference between this and the M416 is like the difference between this and the barrel. The barrel is like 0.25 or... What's the barrel at? Let's have a look at our, our stats sheet here. Ah, oh, no, the, the, the Graza, sorry. The Graza is like 0.237. So the lower this number, the time to kill, the better off you are in close quarters combat. The thing that's really odd about this is that it doesn't have... It doesn't have the fastest super duper low time to kill of any of the smgs that still belongs to the uzi at 0.259 and the vector has indeed 0 0.305 which it replaces but it's better at range it feels range sprays in the vector and it certainly doesn't have the same amount of recoil as the vector and it's far more versatile than the uzi running an uzi in a primary slot weapon on vikendi and a car 98k is doable but the Uzi just it has such a massive drop off in shell velocity over any kind of range and so much recoil as it moves away from CQC that it just doesn't lend itself to that kind of gameplay. And again, that was a G36C versus an MP5K. That guy got the drop on me and it absolutely didn't help him at all. The MP5K just has too much horsepower to be dealing with 5.56 ARs in the tight. So I'll be running this thing on Bikendi all the time. I think it's a gorgeous gun. And I think it's really interesting that it is pushing down that road. And I can see why the UMP got Got changed from a nine millimeter over to a 45 caliber because if the ump existed it would be pointless to run it with this thing in the game like you would never run the ump if you had this thing it was just the ump at the same rate of fire and the same time to kill basically as an m416 but none of the crossover shell velocity that 5k seems to have and none of the single tap ability so for me, the MP5K beats the old UMP hands down. It's still got great gun handling and it's still very, very versatile. And it allows you to have enough gun handling to run guns like the Car 98 that you can see here, which allows me to hit shots like this as the game winds down and grubs are snaking in final circle. Now, before you go anywhere, I want to show you something. And this is really, really important. And I need you to share this. Let your friends know. Let your family know. Tell your dog. Tell your next door neighbor. Um, for so long, these ripoff merchant sites like Bluestack, Major S, Ranked Boosts and all this have claimed to give you the PUBG mobile numbers and all they've done is gone and taken Wacky Jacky's spreadsheet and put it, the PC numbers on a web page and taken your views and got you to watch Google AdSense ads and taken away your money. This is my website, thebushka.com. It lists everything you need to know about PUBG Mobile. This is a soft launch this week. I've got all the basic stats down there for the ARs, the bolt actions, the SMGs, all that kind of thing. We're going into extended sections that will include different armor profile numbers uh, during the week this week, and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. There's going to be an SMG section, an LMG section, uh, sniper rifles, DMRs, everything's there. But it's already got stuff that I've not been able to find anywhere else, i.e. the correct numbers, the correct rate of fires, the correct time to kill level 2 vests that aren't 
PC numbers that have just been ripped off. And it's got the sound marker and backpack management section as well, which most people don't know anything about. That's this section here, which includes the distance away you can hear footsteps, uh, the distance away you can hear someone reloading a magazine, how far away you can hear a Molotov bush when it's lit, how much space you get in your backpack when you use those items, how much space a crossbow bolt takes up, all that kind of thing. And it's got the backing videos up there from my channel that give you an idea on how that logically extends into the gameplay meta. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you visit the site. The link is in the description below. Stay safe on the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.